Well, here we are. We're on the last day of July. Well, actually the first day of August. And uh, it's time for us to head back to Oregon. And we thought we'd take a minute to just reflect a little bit on our month here on this property that we purchased without having full knowledge of it. We were able to visit it last year, but we weren't able to explore the whole place and um, maybe some of the things that we learned while we were here and um, some of the ups and downs of, of this month we thought we'd share with you. Um, do you want me to just ask you some yeah, questions? Sure. Okay. Um, so when we were coming here, all, you know, since we purchased the property last fall, we were talking about, you know, what do we think it's going to be like when we get to walk the whole thing? You know, what, what are, what are some of the things that you were thinking about? Um, there was a lot of trepidation because we hadn't walked the whole property. We had just seen a very small part, like the front part of the property, and we could kind of see what things look like in here. But unless you really walk the property, you don't know what you're going to get. So it was a bit of a risk, you know, in many ways. And so, um, I imagined like a giant swamp with mosquitoes everywhere. And I think I got the mosquitoes everywhere, but we didn't get a giant swamp, which was good. We actually have property that's really, really nice. And we have lots of timber and it's just really beautiful and pleasant. And, um, we got really lucky. Yeah, yeah. we did. And I think a lot of people, when they buy property here <clears throat> that are from elsewhere, they have to buy with a little bit of faith because yeah, not everybody has a chance to come and, um, investigate everything. Um, so yeah. It was, I, I've been also pleasantly uh, surprised, just uh, lots of awesome features with this piece of property. Um, okay. So another question is, uh, what, what were you hoping we'd achieve once we got here and, um, what is it that you feel is left undone? Oh, so I didn't really have high expectations of achieving much. I kind of thought we would get less done than we did. So that's been really great. Like I imagined that we'd just be battling our way in here because it's not easy to access our property. The road was horrible and we spent a lot of days working on the road just to get to our property. Um, so what do you wish we had brought and what were you really glad that we did bring? So I guess there's probably not a lot of tools that I wish we brought. I think, you know, there's always tools you wish you had on a job. Um, that certainly make your life easier, like having a sawzaw when we're doing cutouts and things like that when we were building our structure, that would have obviously made things easier, but you improvise with the tools that you have. And so, um, you know, that's one of the things. It's nice to be able to keep things simple because the more tools you bring, the more tools you have to schlep into your site. Um, but honestly, the most useful tool that we brought was our ATV, like the side-by-side -side with the bed in it. We could pack gear back and forth, haul water, um, since we don't have uh, any water on our site. Um, other useful tools though, the chainsaw. Um, also probably the hot water on demand, hot water <laughs> shower yeah. and the blue eddy, which is Very our much. charger so that we could bathe every night. Cause it's dirty. We got dirty every day, filthy, dirty, long, hard sweaty. hours, sweaty yeah. mosquito repellent yeah. all over you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but a good sharp ax and a good mm -hmm. sharp hatchet are, are essential as well. Um, also some cordless power tools like a drill and, and a saw, yeah. you know, something like that. I think those were probably the most mm -hmm. useful. How about for you? Um, I would say this mosquito, um, <laughs> shelter, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a screen tent, but, um, at certain points it was a lifesaver. So just really nice to be able to get in here and, and get out of the bugs. Um, that probably goes to like greatest challenges too. Yeah, true. What was your greatest yeah. challenge? Um, wow. Okay, greatest challenge, probably, probably the mosquitoes, honestly, and it sounds really lame, but you know, when they're just all around you and you're not used to them, we have mosquitoes in Oregon, but it's not like this where they're clouds and, and just bumping into your face and everything. I think, and I think our space is worse than other spaces. Yeah, it's just very veget, you know, all the vegetation is here, right? Like it's not been cleared out. It's not a park. It's not a campground. Um, and all the it's work, very mossy. On all yeah. the work that we do, we stir them up. And so yeah, we've just yeah. been stirring them up and stirring them up over yeah. here. Yeah. Like when we were working on the road, I think like bringing in a lot of that material, some of it's dirt and sand and yeah. like, that's where the mosquitoes live They're, They yeah. lay their larvae in there. And so, yeah. um, we were, you know, just the road is atrocious. You walk down the road and you're just attacked yeah. fiercely. Yeah. So, yeah. So that was a challenge, but also probably my point of pride, I guess, in the sense that I managed to to work through it and 
Um, again, obviously mosquitoes are not like some, you know, big life challenge I'm going to write a book about one day or anything, <laughs> but, but when you're trying to work, it is a little bit maddening. And I think it could be something that would prevent someone, you know, from wanting to do this kind of thing because, well, bugs are just annoying, but, um, you find a way to work through it and, um, and, uh, get what you need done. And I think, I think I'm proud of myself for that. <laughs> yeah. It's Alaska. Yeah. Alaska is hard, yeah. Yeah. you know, but living anywhere in the woods for, you know, months is mm -hmm. hard too. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. you know, but the mosquitoes were definitely a challenge. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think, I'm not sure, I don't want to say bears were a challenge, but they yeah. were frustrating because we did have some interactions with bears a couple of times. And, um, not that, here, thankfully. No, not here. In fact, yeah. very little bear sign here, though mm -hmm. our neighbor does tell us that there are bears here. Yeah. Several of our neighbors have talked about it. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, yeah, you know, just having to pack your stuff up every night. And because we we're so far into our property, we have to put it on our side by side and drive like the ice boxes of food back to the truck. Every night. And that gets old, you know, the, just yeah. kind of the yeah. tedious tasks of, you know, like, even cooking when you're working hard 12 hours a day you have to pack water to take your shower you have to you know mm -hmm. clean your dishes mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. you cook and all of that and so it's yeah that that part i think just the the tedious nature of it, it's not you know it wears on you yeah yeah i yeah. mean it's a novelty too and i think you know there's a lot of worse things i could be doing with my time like oh, yeah. and and ultimately it's super fulfilling and we're really glad we're doing it it's just um, yeah, that, there, there were some frustrations and things we'll do differently next year now that we have a shed, <laughs> because we have a shed, we can put all the things in there and we won't have to be driving back and forth and it'll just be, yeah. And if we have any bare circumstances next summer, we can go in the shed and have four walls instead of being in the tent. <laughs> but, um, Hopefully yeah, I would say the other thing is just how strange it is to spend so much of your time in a non-building situation, like, like we don't have a structure here, right? We're in a tent, we're in this thing, or we're just outside, which basically in all cases we're outside. <laughs> um, and so that I think is a, is a thing that I hadn't really anticipated. We go camping a lot back in Oregon, but, um, you know, six weeks, basically by the time we, you know, leave and then come back again, uh, we will be camping. So that, that I think is kind of a weird, like your body kind of adjusts in a strange way. I can't really describe it, but um, it's like once you get into a building, there's almost this weird sensation of, of, I don't want to say claustrophobia, but there's, there's, you feel like the walls pressing in on you almost. I don't know if you have any kind of feelings about that, but no, it does okay. feel weird. Yeah. Like when we went into Mozilla to buy materials and stuff and being surrounded by a lot of people, cause it's just the two of us usually mm -hmm. sometimes we'll interact with a neighbor yeah. or go into Glen Allen or something like that to pick up something, but it's very few interactions with people. So um, yeah, it's, I feel a little bit recluse, I guess. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm, what I'm really proud of is, um, like how much we've done. We've, mm. we've done more than I expected we would. And, um, I feel like I was able to become really good with a chainsaw <laughs> and I thought I was pretty good with a chainsaw before, but I'm definitely really good with a chainsaw. I can drop trees. Like we cleared out the lot for our shed and what I thought was going to take me a couple hours to do to clear only took me about an hour because, you know, I've just like really know how to use it well now. So I'm proud and we'll, of that. And we'll be using it a lot more next year. Yep, we will be. So, and we'll bring our other chainsaw and I've never used a chainsaw. So that's something I'm going to learn how to do next year, um, next summer when I come back. So yeah, that's, that's it for today. We're going to do the door on the shed and I'm going to be picking up camp here and then we're hoping to pull out later this evening. Yep. And, uh, I hope if you've watched our videos of our work this summer that you, um, tune in again next summer when we make some more, we're also hoping to have more outdoor activities. That's kind of our intention mm. with this channel is to show backpacking and things. And we did do one backpacking trip to the cabin, Caribou Creek mm. cabin again this summer, but with everything else, we just couldn't squeeze any other activities in really some fishing in Valdez, um, from the shore. But again, um, we're hoping to do some fly in backpacks next summer, definitely a rafting trip, um, here locally and on the Golcana. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if I have a so regret we'll, this summer, yeah. my regret is that we didn't spend more time in Alaska 
enjoying what Alaska <laughs> has to offer. Yeah. And like our property is amazing and we didn't even spend very much time exploring our property because we were just heads down working the whole yeah. time practically. And I'm really thankful for the times we did get away, but boy, I think next year we have to try harder at yeah. really trying to explore Alaska more. Yeah. There's so much to see up here. Yep. Definitely. Can't wait. Um, I'm right. sad to be going, but yeah. I'm also going to be happy to be having four walls around me too. Yeah. <laughs> be out of the mosquitoes. <laughs> yep. All right. Thank yep. you all. Yep. Bye. Give me, Give me your bone. Give it to me. Give me your bone. Give it to me. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm, my fingers are going there. Give me your bone. Give it to me. Give it to me, Lenny. <laughs> Give it to me. I'm going to do it. Where's my phone at? Meanwhile, we got... I'm chewing this thing like crazy. It's oh, disgusting. Oh, did you grab me on my phone real quick? Occupying me, though. That's what matters. Oh, you... All right, Lenny. Give me the bone. Give it to me. Give it to me. Can I have your bone? Don't be so mean with the bone. Give me your bone. I'm going to come get it. I'm going to get it from you. I'm coming. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. So here's a, a very wet day inside our screen kitchen. <laughs> Probably going to be retreating to the tent soon where we can hear the rain a little less loudly. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Lupa, go get the ball. Get the ball. Bring it here, buddy. Bring it here. Bring it here. It's right there. You just walked by it. Something else more interesting? Oh, you want this ball that we found here? Okay. 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 How's my buddy? How's my buddy? Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. How you doing? Did you say that we thought we were going to be able to build that?
I'm, I'm here with them. <laughs> Just doing a little final look back to the shed.